This is the camera I use for all my workshop videos and quite a lot of the outside stuff. I've had the camera for probably a couple of years now. It's had a lot of use. It's been dropped, it's been spear of cutting oil, sparks, exposed to weld knocks. It's never ever flattered. The only one drawback with it is it hasn't got a wide angle lens and you can't get a wide angle lens adapter for it. But what I have got is a wide angle lens of a Panasonic video camera I used to use. I've actually had this mounted on here just held on with some insulating tape and it does give a much wider field of view which will make videos in the workshop a lot easier to do. This is my new camera and obviously I don't want to start using this in the workshop because it was quite expensive. You can see this one has got a threaded adapter so I can put a wide angle lens on this particular camera. This is the one I use at steam rallies and anything outside really. It's got a thread on the end of here so I think what I'll try and do is make an adapter using that screw thread and just fasten it onto here possibly with a couple of grub screws and even a little bit of Loctite. The camera owes me absolutely nothing at all and doing that will not, will not damage the camera anyway and like I say it will give it a wider field of view. So the first thing I need to do is identify the thread that's on here. For certain it's fine. It's got an outside diameter of 42.75. The thing I need to find out is the pitch. It's certainly finer than one mil pitch. I've had a look at it with the thread gauges and the pitch is actually 0.75 a millimetre. <clears throat> I don't know if you're able to see that through the, through the camera or not. But it is 0.75 a millimetre. I'll have a look at the lathe and see if I can cut that thread. There's also a recess in there, obviously, where it's been threaded into. Where the threads have end, ended it's 41.85 so that's the size I need to bore the hole to cut the thread 41.85 this is the screw cutting gearbox on the Harrison lathe the thread we want to cut is that one there 0.75 the chain wheels are already set up to cut lanes 2, 3 and 4 which is two, three and four so I can cut that thread without altering any change wheels. 0.75 so the first thing we'll do is put the, the tumbler under the 0.75 and then it tells us the right hand change lever which is that one wants to go that way that one needs to go that way and that one needs to go that way. That should cut the 0.75 thread. Before I make the adapter and start cutting internal threads which are hard to measure, I'll do a practice thread on the outside of this brass bush just to make sure I am cutting the right thread at 0.75 pitch. It doesn't matter the diameter, I just want to, be able to measure the pitch. Just a little bit, just enough to, to verify its right. Let's 
better. Right, we need an gear drop. Here the feed screw. Check the carriage is moving the right way. You still have got the carriage well away from the chuck. Go the wrong way. Right, that's going the right way now. I know the tool is on the centre height, but we need the tool square to the job. Easiest way to do that is to loosen off your tool post. So you touch the flat edge of the tool up against the chuck, tighten it up. Right, we need to touch this off. There. I'm going to use a thread down indicator and I'll engage it on a mark number that I can't go wrong. There, right, that's engaged. Don't know that cut on the same setting just to clean it up and measure it. Put a thread on. And you should be able to see that it's a point seven five thread gauge and it fits in there perfectly. So now we're cutting the right thread. You see, we still need to machine a bush and cut the thread and find it's wrong. Pull with a nice aluminium bar that'll do the job. Centre drilled, put a hole in, and do the threads first. WD-40 for cutting aluminium WD-40 or paraffin but WD-40 snares a lot better The 
these big drillers to try and pull them up real quickly. Nasty stringy chips up aluminium, horrible stuff it is. Yeah, we're just about down to size now. Take one more cut, spring cut. I'm just feeding this by hand. size there. I'll just put a little radius on the edge just for the tool to start into and once I'm going to put a cut out in there for the tool to run into once we're finished cutting the threads. We'll cut a thread full depth and then we can play around with it with our heart's content. It's a nice cut out in there for the, the threading tool to drop into. A little chamfer on the edge of there. That should do. Right, we'll set a slow cutting tool up and get some threads into it. <laughs> 